Hi MRH friends, welcome to the exploration of the artist Mary Blair. Mary was an illustrator, a designer, and a painter. She was trained as an artist at the Chouinard School of Art in Los Angeles. Here she met her husband Lee Blair. The pair would open an art gallery in California after graduation. But then the Great Depression hit and they found it difficult to keep their doors open. Mary and Lee both joined the design team at Disney. Mary considered herself a fine artist and struggled taking a commercial job such as Disney, but did so after being convinced to do so by her husband. She did not want to paint the ideas of others, she wanted to make her own creative decisions. Mary preferred to work in gouache, acrylic, pastels, and watercolors. She did not blend colors, but often put contrasting colors next to each other to create emphasis. You can see that concept here in both of her fine art paintings. Once she joined the design team at Disney, she was put to work on films such as Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, and Cinderella. This is a concept painting from Alice in Wonderland. This is a scene from the actual film. You can see the influence that she had on the designers with her bold use of flat color. Pay close attention to the vein like brush strokes in those plants in this film outtake because you're also going to see them again in the trees from Cinderella. Also here in the corner is an illustration from a children's book that she did. You can see the influence from the plants in her book and how they transfer to the plants in the film. Here's the concept painting for Cinderella that Mary did. You can see those vein-like brush strokes again in the background. We also see her use of bold flat colors in this painting. Now, here's the scene from the actual film. Again, look closely at those trees. Here's the concept art and the scene from the actual film side by side. Can you see her creative influence? This is Mary's concept art from Peter Pan. Her fine art painting style was very hard to illustrate and transfer into 3D forms. This made her very unpopular at Disney. It was difficult for the illustrators to make her paintings look like they were in motion. During her time at Disney, Mary Blair also designed rides for Disney. This is a Mary Blair painting on the left, and on the right is a photo of It's a Small World, a ride built at Disneyland in California. It is now a nostalgic ride that exists at every Disney park around the world. This is the scale model for It's a Small World that was built by designers inspired by her paintings. Again, here on the left, we have a Mary Blair concept painting from the inside of the ride. The final design and installation was done in the 1960s. On the right is a picture from the current ride. You can clearly see her influence today. Mary made herself responsible for every aspect of the ride. She personally designed every single costume for the animatronic dolls. There are over 250 figures seen by riders each visit. On the left, you can see Alice in Wonderland and Mary's style in the background. Mary loved to travel to get inspiration. Walt Disney took her on several trips, many to South America. Here she found new ways to juxtapose colors in her work. 
you can see the overlap from her painting to the film art of Los Caballeros. This is a tile mosaic at the Contemporary Hotel at the Walt Disney Resort in Orlando, Florida. It was replicated for other Disney parks around the world after it became beloved in its original location. It's called the Grand Canyon Mural. Walt asked Mary to create the mural because he knew she would be capable of bringing it to life. The new, very modern hotel built in the 1960s had been designed for Walt Disney, but it felt very unfriendly and flat not at all what Walt had wanted. So Mary was able to add this 10-story splash of color to the hotel's lobby. It's three-sided and guests enjoy its mural from the monorails and all inside of the hotel. It was Mary's last work at dinner, Disney. She passed away in the summer of 1976. Mary is still named as an influence on current films in the Disney franchise. Monsters, Inc., Tangled, and Up are just three films where designers reference her style. In both the Aladdin cartoon and live action film, you can clearly see her influence. This is a concept painting for the first movie. This is a painting of Agrabah in its initial planning stages. You can clearly see Mary's influence of color and shape and space. Mary is also very well known outside of Disney as an illustrator. She worked on many Golden Books. Golden Books is a series of children's books that has been popular since the 1940s. These are just a few that she was involved in. Mary was even honored as a Google Doodle for her 100th birthday. She is very much considered a pioneer for all women artists. If you want to explore the work of Mary Blair further, check out The Pocket Full of Colors, a children's book all about her art, creative, and colorful style. Now, how can your art show the influence of Mary Blair? Check out these ideas.
Thank mm-hmm. you.